everyone, this is Amanda Papard with Sweet Pieces. I'm back today with another video because you seem to all have really liked the one yesterday. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about um, a really simple paint technique that we get a lot of questions on all the time. So basically, um, a lot of times people will ask us, did you use dark wax on that piece? How did you get it to look so dark on the inside? And the answer is no, I hardly ever use dark wax. I'm not a huge fan of it. Some people like it, some people don't, it's just, a matter of taste. So what I do a lot of times is when I'm painting my pieces, I don't try to get the paint in all the grooves and crevices. So that allows that darkness that's on the inside to maintain itself. So I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. Um, I'm really excited about this piece. Um, for those of you that know me, um, you know that I love marble top pieces. So we found this piece, we actually found a couple marble top pieces. So this is the first one that I'm gonna be painting and I'm using a combination of French linen and Paris gray just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a quick coat of French linen on here and I'm not gonna to try to cover this completely with the French linen. So again, I'm just kind of brushing over the top of it. So I'm just getting a little bit of paint on my brush, on my favorite Annie Sloan brush. I love the small brush because it fits really nicely in my hand, it doesn't get heavy, and it's super easy to use. So basically what I'm gonna do, if you come over here and you look at this little on lay right here, I'm just gonna kind of brush over the top of it. And do you see how that looks very dark on the inside, but, not, but you have the paint on the outside? That's it. So I'm just gonna quickly cover this whole piece here and I'm gonna not try to get in all those grooves and crevices. Super simple. I'll give you another quick area up here on the top. I'm just gonna kind of brush over it, leaving that inner part still nice dark and brown. So I did the other side here so I can show you the next step really quick. So this was already done in French linen completely now I'm going to go ahead and do it with Paris Gray. And I'm doing a no-no here, but I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. I'm just kind of wiping my brush off and dipping it in my can of Paris Gray now. And again, I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm trying to cover this, but not completely. And I'm still going over the top of these onlays, still maintaining that dark brown on the inside but I'm creating a lot of depth and dimension with the two colors. This is so, so super simple. So when I'm done with this, what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of sandpaper, I'll rough up the edges, I'll add my marble top, I'll throw a quick coat of clear wax, which you should know how to do by now, and I'll be done. And that's it, so simple. I also wanna, before I let you go, I just wanna let you guys know we've been working on a new website. We're really excited. We're gonna be launching next month. We cannot wait for you to see it. It's gonna be a complete e-commerce site. You can basically buy everything that we have here in the store. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping in.